guys i hope you're all doing well out there today wherever you are in the world and in this video we're going to take a look at the brand new soldano super lead overdrive pedal now you don't get any prizes for guessing that this pedal goes after the tones of the soldano slo 100 that high gain monster and aims to put it in a compact pedal format now soldano aren't really known for their pedals they have released in the past a big old tube overdrive pedal i think it was called the supercharger supercharger gto maybe there were two different versions but that's the only pedal release i've seen from soldano and now they've come out with this and not only is it a very handsome looking chap it sounds really really great it's one of those amp in a box style pedals that you could put in front of any kind of clean amp and turn it into an absolute fire breathing monster so i'm going to aim to demonstrate some tones for you today just a quick rundown of the controls there's no need to go into too much information we all know what these do you've got a volume presence gain treble middle and bass standard sort of amp format and then on the side here you've got a deep switch which increases the low end now personally i always gravitate towards overdrive and distortion pedals with more controls on board i think it really helps you tailor it to your particular amp there's certain amps that are mid focus so you want a bit of control of the mids certain amps that have a ton of bass you want to be able to dial that in and out so I love that they've gone for a format that has your standard amp controls and will really let you dial it into any amp. So let's crack straight on with some tones unplugged into the clean channel of the Synergy Syn 30 behind me. I just think the clean channel is a really neutral kind of platform so we can hear what this pedal's doing. So clean with the Les Paul sounds like this. <laughs> And then engaging the pedal with everything at midday except the volumes at about unity. So monster gain uh, just at halfway around there. Uh, it's got that Soldano kind of bite, but it keeps like quite a smooth top end, really. I, I find that I've played a few Soldano amps in my time. They've got that kind of um, Kerrang that you get out of sort of Marshall style amps, but it's a lot smoother and more refined and obviously a ton more gain. Let's check out the range of some of these controls. So the gain control. <laughs> So to me, um, the most dynamic range is in the first half of the control and then everything, rather than getting much more gainy, it just gets much more squishy and compressed. Obviously the gain does go up, but the impression of playing is it just, everything kind of clamps down and it gets more squishy. So we'll set the gain on about three and a half and then check out some EQ. Mm -hmm. 
Control especially is that real top end sibilant. And although on the settings I've got on the amp at the moment, that gets quite aggressive in the upper reaches, if you've got a particularly dark amp between the presence and the treble control, you're going to be able to find that point between the two of them that uh, makes the sound a bit more lively without taking your head clean off um, with like the ice picky sort of thing. You know, I can see that with a more Fender style amp that's got a lot of top and bottom and not much mids. The, uh, between the, um, the presence, the treble and the mid range, you're gonna be able to really bring that amp to life and avoid, like I said, that ice picky top end. Um, as you can see, Unity volume for me on this amp is just below halfway, so there's a ton of volume on tap to hit any amp with uh, whatever kind of level that you need to get the job done. I imagine you could also use this as a pretty successful overdrive uh, slash booster type thing, uh, but obviously that's not really what it's intended to do. The other control that this pedal offers is a deep switch on the side, and this adds that real like low end thump to the signal. And uh, I find this kind of thing particularly useful, not just for dialing in from amp to amp, but I find it most useful depending on the volume that you're playing. To me, you want a lot more bottom end in your signal if you're playing at quieter volumes or at home. You want everything to sound thick and full. But when you get up to gig volume, that can be quite overbearing. So that's a really nice feature just to add that thump in or take it out. So I'll demonstrate that now. So this is without. So really useful and um, it does seem to change the, sh the sort of feel of the pedal a little bit. That might just be because it's of the way it's hitting the amp with more bass. Um, but it's uh, with it out, it's much tighter and more sort of percussive sounding. And then with it in, it's just got this huge bottom end. So as we found out in this video, this pedal has a ton of gain on tap. So it's probably going to appeal a lot to like higher gain kind of players. So my guitar's in drop D now. I know that's not considered super low nowadays, but um, it's got a bit more chunk to it. And I found a little trick with the pedal. If you want it to sound sort of tight, but still full, I've backed the bass off to zero, but engaged the deep switch. So the, taking the bass away is kind of tightening up the front end of the circuit. And I imagine the deep switch is somewhere towards the end of the, the clipping stages and stuff. So. Um, it still has a fullness, but it's um, it's kind of tight. So check this out. So guitar and drop D, this is what the amp sounds like.
pedal does react very well to like dynamics and volume uh, controls on your guitar as well. Obviously this works better slightly further down the game reaches, but it is quite dynamic all the way around. So check this out. So this is a uh, clean tone with bridge pickup then pedal. And then I've got my neck humbucker uh, split and I've backed the volume down slightly. Um, might not bother too many of you, but one thing that is cool about this pedal is it has the soft, soft touch switch, which is really great. No loud pops or bangs or anything. It's nice and smooth. So I'm just going to dial in uh, my kind of favorite tone on this pedal. I haven't found it yet, but we'll find it just by tweaking. I mean, to me, everything sounds pretty good at midday, but I'm just going to use my ears and find what works for this amp and my kind of taste. <laughs> So I think that's roughly my sweet spot with this pedal and this amp and this guitar. But I think you can see from tweaking around there that you could dial this in to suit any amp, any guitar, any kind of playing style. Um, and I just think it's a really well-rounded amp in a box style pedal. Like I said, I think it will work great into any kind of clean edge of breakup kind of amp. And to be honest, with the amount of tweaking on there, you could probably use it as a nice sort of front end push as well if you wanted to into another amp. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me today to take a look at the new Soldano Super Lead Overdrive pedal. I hope you got what you wanted from this video. And if you haven't already, it does me a great favor if you could look at liking, commenting and subscribing. It all helps out with the YouTube algorithm and helps push the channel forward. Whatever you're doing with the rest of the day, I hope it's awesome and I hope to see you again in another video. Cheers, guys.